So the other day, I was doom scrolling through Instagram. Uh, may or may not have been on the toilet at the time, that is unconfirmed. But as I was doom scrolling through Instagram, I came across this post right here talking about how the CIA, guys, did you know the CIA secretly has a heart attack pew pew? I can't say that other word this early in the video, I'll say it later. But the CIA secretly has a heart attack pew pew that fires off a magical frozen bullet that gives people heart attacks. So people pass away from heart attacks and no one knows that they were secretly assassinated by the CIA. 100% real, guys. This is confirmed, right? Because people on Facebook, people on Instagram, even YouTube videos talking about this secret heart attack pew pew that was revealed, it's 100% real, guys. Now, obviously, jokes aside, I actually don't think this is real. I think this is a massive propaganda campaign. Some might even say it's a massive scam that the CIA has been running since 1975. So for nearly 50 years, the CIA has been scamming people into believing their secret heart attack pew pew is real. And in this video, we're gonna break it all down. So all of these posts about the supposed heart attack gun all talk about how the CIA revealed they had this weapon during a 1975 hearing before Congress. Being the skeptic that I am, I assume this was just made up fake internet posts to get clicks, but it turns out that yes, the CIA did actually reveal this weapon during an investigation that was televised in 1975. This investigation was known as the Church Committee, and its purpose was to uncover intelligence abuses after it was discovered that the CIA had been investigating U.S. citizens. This committee eventually led to the discovery of Operation MKUltra, which was the drugging and abuse of U.S. citizens for human experimentation, as well as a secret CIA program known as Family Jewels, which outlined plans the CIA had drafted to secretly assassinate foreign leaders that did not agree with the United States ideas. During this investigation, the CIA decided to unveil to the world the existence of the supposed heart attack gun. Have you brought with so that when it fires, it fires silently? Almost silently, yes. In the clip, they reveal a modified Colt pistol that they claim can fire a frozen water bullet that has shellfish toxin inside. Once it enters the human body, the ice melts, leaving no evidence of being shot, and the toxin causes the target to have a heart attack. This leads everyone to believe the person died of natural causes and no assassination took place. The problem with all of that is that it's simply not true. The CIA never showed the weapon being fired, and after this hearing, the heart attack gun shown in the footage disappeared and was never mentioned again. In the nearly 50 years since this fake weapon was revealed to the public, no one has ever been able to even come close to replicating what it supposedly can do. In the early 2000s, the TV show Mythbusters debunked the myth that a frozen bullet could actually be fired from a gun, and after they got tons of angry emails claiming they were wrong, they retested it in another episode and again proved that a frozen bullet isn't capable of being fired from a gun. Well, Jamie, you know, we actually did the ice bullet again here. We froze it slowly. We froze it from the tip. We coated it in Teflon. We got it in fast. And there's nothing here. No penetration at all. No. So we finally put this one to rest. Yes. You cannot shoot a frozen water bullet from a rifle like they do in the movies. It just can't be done. You're gonna end up with vaporized water. An ice bullet, as it was claimed used by the heart attack gun, simply isn't possible. The sheer force and heat of propelling an ice bullet out of a gun causes it to disintegrate before hitting the target. That's not even counting for how hard it would be to create a frozen bullet, keep it at freezing temperatures while transporting it to the hit's location, and then loading it into the gun all without ever allowing it to slightly melt, which would cause it to become useless. On top of the insanity of a mythical ice bullet, the gun supposedly would leave no bullet wound, only a small red mark, and the person who was hit wouldn't even know they were shot. Any bullet, even a magical ice bullet, would leave a bullet hole if it was powerful enough to penetrate the skin, and the person shot would undoubtedly know they were just hit by something, and unlike in Hollywood movies, poisons used to kill people take time and wouldn't immediately cause the person to just fall over from a heart attack. As I said earlier, that gun shown at the 1975 hearing disappeared after its one and only showing to the public and was never even shown being used. During that 1975 committee, another plot of the CIA was uncovered, known as Project Mockingbird. This project was a systematic propaganda campaign with domestic and foreign journalists operating as CIA assets, as well as dozens of U.S. news organizations providing cover for CIA activity. 
This was a real project that was implemented, and various news organizations around the world have actively promoted propaganda the CIA wants people to believe is true. Now, with that being said, let's go over what the heart attack gun actually was. It was a fake piece of propaganda created by the CIA and displayed on television for the world to see to accomplish two goals. The first was to distract from the horrible things that were unveiled in the church committee, like Operation MKUltra, as they knew this mythical weapon would get all the headlines. The second reason it was shown was to strike fear and doubt into the heart of the USSR and other enemies of the USA. Anytime a person working against the USA's best interest died suddenly of a heart attack, people would begin to question if the CIA had secretly taken them out with the mythical heart attack gun that leaves no evidence behind. Since that one hearing in 1975, there has never been one shred of evidence ever brought forth that this weapon exists or was ever used. If the CIA willingly showed this to the public in 1975, why wouldn't it be shown again or have any proof of its existence revealed in any reports or findings released in the past 50 years? To me, I think the obvious answer is because this weapon was never real and was just some crazy idea the CIA cooked up but realized it would never work. Many crazy ideas are thought up by secret organizations, but that doesn't mean they actually go anywhere. Take, for example, Project A-119, which was a secret Air Force plan to nuke the moon in 1958 as a show of force against the USSR. This plan had no real shot of ever being allowed to happen, but that doesn't mean the US Air Force didn't plan it all out anyway. I have no doubt that the CIA actually worked with different poisons to kill people and would have loved to have a magical ice bullet that causes heart attacks with no trace, but based on 1975 technology, there is zero chance this weapon was actually real. Now, despite this thing probably never existing, that hasn't stopped those on social media from posting about it being real. Instagram, Facebook, and even YouTube all have dozens of creators talking about it, with England's favorite scammer, KSI, doing a video about it that got nearly 7 million views. With many large gun tubers doing high-end reproductions of famous shooting incidents, I would love for one of them to be able to create a magical frozen bullet that leaves no trace on impact and delivers a special poison into the victim without them knowing, but I won't be holding my breath they can actually do that. Now, with all that being said, I'm sure there will still be people who think this weapon was actually real, and for those people, I want you to think about what your source for that information actually is. The CIA is your source. They want you to believe this weapon is real, and no one outside of the CIA has ever presented any evidence it is real. One of the greatest propaganda and deception organizations the world has ever seen wants you to believe this is real, and everyone just ate it up and believed it without ever questioning its validity. In the end, the most powerful weapon is the one that doesn't actually exist, yet everyone believes is real. The CIA isn't your friend, and until someone outside the CIA can provide any evidence this weapon was ever real, my belief is this was just a made-up propaganda campaign of the CIA. Let me know in the comments below if you agree or if you think this was actually real.